is surround me, but sadness has found me. I'd do anything for more time than never before. Cause someone meant more, and I can't get you out of my mind. There is so much that I don't understand, but I know you're dancing with the angels, walking in new life. You're dancing with the angels, heaven fills your eyes now that you're dancing with. Love for your family, love for all people, love for the Father and the Son. Your heart will be heard in your unspoken words through generations to come. There is so much that I don't understand, but I know you're dancing with the says in Romans that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Good doesn't usually or always mean the way we want things to work out. But God did accomplish his purpose in Dylan's life. Dylan was a place of praise for four years and now for eternity. And through the family, God's purpose was accomplished because they have taught the rest of us how to love well in very, very hard circumstances. So don't anybody believe Dylan's life was in vain, not even a little bit. Dylan accomplished God's purpose in his life. Let's pray. God, we thank you for Dylan. We praise you for his life, for every day, every smile, every laugh. We thank you. And we thank you today that you've made him whole. He is fully alive. He is more fully alive than any of us. And we also thank you for the certain knowledge that we'll be reunited with him. For Amy and Phil, we ask you to give them strength and comfort. Put your everlasting arms under them. For the whole family, I ask that you'll fill their hearts and minds with memories of smiles and laughs and blue eyes and curly hair. 
And we thank you, Lord, that as we grieve, we don't grieve as those who have no hope. Because we have the hope in Christ for eternal life, no more death. For bodies that are whole and perfect, no more crab A disease. The hope for being in your presence and the hope for family reunions that will bring loved ones back together. So we're grateful to you, God, for Dylan. We're grateful that you put him in the arms of parents and brothers that would love him. As Jackson said in one of his uh, messages to Dylan, I love you so, 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 so much. And we know, God, that that's how much you love Dylan. And we thank you for that. Amen. One of the joys of Dylan's life was his love for balloons. So the final part of our celebration today is going to be a balloon party. If you didn't come expecting a balloon party, then you can be surprised. We're going to go out on the East Lawn, and there's going to be enough balloons out there for everybody to take one or two or three or how many ever you can grab. We're going to have uh, some music, and we're going to all circle around Phil and Amy and Jackson and Connor and Sophie. And then we'll, we're going to have a song, and I'll do a short prayer. And then Phil and Amy will release their balloons. And when they do, the rest of us let ours go. We're going to fill the sky with balloons to celebrate uh, Dylan's life. And then as those are balloons are going up, the group that's going to be singing is going to sing uh, the song someday.